Your financial future isn't just about how much money you make. It's about the key decisions you make along the way. Some choices have a bigger impact on your wealth than others. One choice can either set you up for success or lead you down a rocky road. You know, those choices that seem like no big deal at the time but end up haunting your bank account for years to come. We're talking about the kind of decisions that separate the folks living the dream from the folks stuck dreaming. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through the 10 most important financial decisions you'll ever make. We're going to laugh, we're going to think, and by the time we're done, you're going to be armed with the knowledge you need to make choices that lead to financial peace. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video, and let's get started. The first major decision you will have to make is whether to buy or rent the house you live in. This is a big one because where you live is likely the largest expense you'll ever have. If you buy, you're building equity, but you also take on long-term debt and responsibility. Renting, on the other hand, gives you flexibility but no ownership. So which path should you take? It depends on your goals. See, buying a house can be a great investment, but it's not for everyone. You've got to factor in property taxes, insurance, maintenance, all those hidden costs that can sneak up on you like a ninja in a bathrobe. Plus, a house ties you down. What if you get a job offer in another state? Now renting, on the other hand, gives you flexibility. You can pack up and move whenever you please. Plus, you don't have to worry about fixing a leaky roof at two in the morning in the pouring rain. But here's the catch. Renting means you're throwing money away every month on someone else's investment. So what's the answer? Well, it depends on your individual circumstances. Do your homework, crunch the numbers, and don't let anyone tell you what's right for you except you and your budget. Right behind your house is the decision about which neighborhood you choose to live in. They say location is everything, and when it comes to your finances, they're not wrong. Choosing the right neighborhood can impact your wallet in more ways than you might think. Think about it. Living in a swanky neighborhood might mean keeping up with the Joneses. You know, the ones with the brand new sports car and the perfectly manicured lawn that costs more than your monthly grocery budget. Suddenly, you're pressured to upgrade your lifestyle and your bank account starts crying in a corner. On the other hand, living in a neighborhood where the most exciting thing that happens is a stray cat wandering through your yard might mean sacrificing things like good schools and access to amenities. Where you live determines a lot. Your expenses, your quality of life, the schools your kids attend, even your social circle. Higher-end neighborhoods often mean higher costs. Everything from property taxes to the cost of groceries might go up. On the other hand, more affordable areas may allow you to save and invest more of your income. Choosing the right location can make all the difference in your financial situation. The key here is finding that sweet spot. A neighborhood that meets your needs without breaking the bank. Do your research, consider your priorities, and choose wisely, my friends. Your wallet will thank you. Number three, a big one. The decision of what you do with your money. Will you invest it wisely or spend it on short-term pleasures? You've heard it a million times, but it's true. How you manage your money is the difference between building wealth and staying stuck in the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle. You see, your present self wants that shiny new gadget, that designer handbag, that weekend getaway. And hey, I get it, treating yourself is important. But here's the thing, your future self wants financial security. They want to retire comfortably, travel the world, and not have to worry about money. And the only way to make your future self happy is to invest today. Think of it like this. Every dollar you spend is a missed opportunity to grow your wealth. It's like that time I tried to plant a money tree using dollar bills. Spoiler alert, it didn't work. Investing, on the other hand, is like planting seeds that have the potential to grow into a mighty financial oak tree. Every dollar you spend on unnecessary stuff. That's money gone forever. It's your call. Do you want your money to work for you? Or do you want to work for your money? Moving on. You will have to make a decision about whether to have debt and what to use it for. Debt can be a tool or a trap. How much debt you have and how you use it will either help you build wealth or weigh you down. There's good debt, like a mortgage or a student loan, that increases your earning potential. And then there's bad debt like credit cards maxed out on things you don't need. It's like a giant weight around your neck, dragging you down and preventing you from reaching your financial goals. Be smart with debt. Take on what you can manage and make sure it's pushing you forward, not holding you back. The point is, debt doesn't have to control your life. You have the power to break free and take back your finances. It takes discipline. It takes commitment. But trust me, it's worth it. Number five, your marriage partner is one of the most important financial decisions you'll ever make. When you marry someone, 
Their financial habits, goals, and debts become part of your life. If you're with someone who's responsible with money, great. You're building wealth together. But if your partner is reckless with spending or not on the same page with financial goals, it could spell trouble. They say love conquers all, but can it conquer debt? That's the million dollar question, folks. Choosing a life partner is a big decision, and it's not just about finding someone who makes your heart flutter. You need to find someone who shares your financial values. It's important to be on the same page when it comes to money. Do you both believe in living within your means? Do you have similar financial goals? These are important conversations to have before you walk down the aisle. Because let me tell you, nothing kills romance faster than arguing about money. Trust me, I've seen it happen and it ain't pretty. So choose wisely, my friends. Your heart and your wallet will thank you. Next up, you will have to decide whether you'll be an employee or an employer. Now, I'm not here to tell you which path is right for you. Both have their pros and cons, and ultimately, the decision comes down to your individual goals and risk tolerance. Being an employee means having a steady paycheck, benefits, and maybe even a company car. But it also means having a boss, answering to someone else, and having limited earning potential. Being an employer, on the other hand, means being your own boss, calling the shots, and having unlimited earning potential. But it also means taking on more risk, working longer hours, and dealing with the headaches of running a business. It's like choosing between a comfortable pair of slippers and a pair of high heels. Slippers are cozy and familiar, while high heels can be glamorous and empowering, but they can also be a pain in the... well, you know. The key is to figure out which footwear fits your lifestyle and your financial goals. Next, cars are one of the biggest expenses most people have, and the decision to drive a used or brand new car is one you will definitely have to make, because this can seriously impact your wallet. Now I'm not saying you have to drive around in a beat-up old clunker, but you also don't need to take out a loan that'll have you paying more for your car than you do for your house. Here's the thing about cars, they're depreciating assets. That means the moment you drive them off the lot, they start losing value. So, unless you're a collector of vintage cars, buying a brand new car is like setting fire to a pile of cash. Now I'm not saying you have to drive a boring car, but be smart about it. Look for used cars in good condition, negotiate a good price and pay cash if you can. Remember, a car is a tool to get you from point A to point B, not a status symbol. Number eight, having kids is one of the biggest financial responsibilities out there. So deciding how many kids to have and when is a critical choice. Kids are adorable, they're hilarious, and they're also expensive. Like really expensive. We're talking college funds, extracurricular activities, and enough food to feed a small army. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have kids because of the cost. Children are a blessing, and they bring immeasurable joy to our lives. But it's important to be financially prepared for the responsibility. Before you start that family, have a plan. Start saving early. Create a budget that includes the cost of raising children, and be realistic about what you can afford. Because the last thing you want is to be stressed about money when you should be enjoying those precious moments with your little ones. Next, you need to decide who you call your friends. They say you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And you know what? They're right. Your social circle can have a huge impact on your financial well-being. Surround yourself with people who inspire you, who motivate you, and who challenge you to be better. And steer clear of those who are always trying to keep up with the Joneses, who are constantly complaining about money, or who are always trying to drag you down to their level. Remember, your friends should be your cheerleaders, not your financial drainers. Choose wisely, my friends. Last but not least, you'll have to decide what to do with the most precious resource you have, your time. How you use your time will determine your financial success. Are you wasting hours every day on things that don't matter? Or are you using your time to learn, grow and build? It's a cliche, I know, but it's true. Time is money. Every minute you waste is a minute you could be spending building your dreams, growing your wealth, or simply enjoying life. So how do you make the most of your time? It's simple. Prioritize. Identify your goals, create a plan, and then take action. Don't be afraid to say no to distractions, to delegate tasks, and to outsource when necessary. Remember, you only get one shot at this life. Don't waste it on things that don't matter. Invest your time wisely and watch your dreams take flight. These are the 10 critical financial decisions that can make or break your financial future. So take your time, think carefully, and make decisions that will set you up for success. Now, I want to hear from you. Which of these decisions have you already made, and how have they impacted your life? Share your thoughts in the comments below, 
and let's keep the conversation going. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more financial wisdom, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Until next time, stay financially savvy.